Hi there. So in this video, we are going to see how to export your database table to Excel file. So we are using Microsoft SQL Server Management Studio. And on left hand side of Object Explorer, you have database folder from which I'm going to use archive database. I'm going to run query select star from archive.dbo.sample code okay and now I'm going to execute this and as you can see it will bring you this set of results here okay now what I want to do is I want to export this data to Excel file I know it's not going to be perfect but we can export specific columns and we can also ignore some rows if you want okay so right click on your database then go to tasks and then export data this will open SQL Server import export wizard now click on next okay so you will be asked to choose data source and here you can choose your archive database Okay, and it, here you can see select the source from which to copy data so this was my source I'm clicking on next to point to destination so destination here is Excel file okay now I need to choose path I can also choose Excel version let's choose the most recent And I'm also going to remove first row has column names. Okay. Here I'm going to use let's say name sample demo dot xls. Then I'm going to click on next to see how it shows. Copy data from one or more tables. Click next, and it will show you table and views. Okay. You can also edit mappings here can skip particular column if you want okay you can also edit SQL if you want you can also change the destination text to appear different okay so once that is done you can simply go to next you can also check for what to do when error happens okay click on next again and then choose run immediately click next and this will show you that click finish to perform actions okay so it will show you pre-execute issues the message being there is error found in data source okay there is also executing issue so let's go back and fix that okay so let's see it has this and we will choose this okay here you see mapping append rows to destination table or delete rows in destination tables okay see how it goes okay it shows a success so 737 rows are transferred and previous content is deleted there is only validation issue it will ask you to check for validated data now close this and you can go through your computer and check this file so we have sample demo file let's see how it looks Okay, so it added that extra column. We can get rid of that if we run the query on our own. Okay, so you will also find that there are unnecessary bit of content added due to it being ported into older version of Excel. So you need to check that. Okay, so basically 
when you are going to transfer from your SQL Server database to Excel, you will make use of export task as task then export data and from that wizard you can export your data to excel file 